workout week for Dalton Smith's big fight. A big fight for Lewis Sylvester as well. Yeah, yeah, big fight, great opportunity. Uh, he's on the live broadcast at seven o'clock, so English title against another undefeated good fighter. It's, it's a 50-50 fight. This is what we're in the game for. How much of a big boost is that, being on the live broadcast and having that sort of audience? Because I know Lewis has fought on some smaller shows and had plenty of success there, but it's a little bit of a different ball game when you come to the, the TV side. His, uh, his style suits it. His personality suits it. He's, I think he's, I think he's the real deal. He's the package. He's got everything, and he gets a chance, an opportunity to show it on the big stage. What do you think he's learned from the first eleven fights that have made him ready for this opportunity? Well, it's gaining the experience. Obviously, in this game, you're starting out with your four rounders, your six rounders. He's not had the pressure of uh, mainstream TV under the lights. I've worked him well on the small holes. He, he fought a very good undefeated fighter in his last fight or in England International at junior level. He, he's had the right fights at the right time and he's more than ready now. He's more than ready for the bright lights. He's, stra he's, he's ready to go now and this is his opportunity and I personally think he'll grab it with both hands. Do you feel like this could be the start of a big run for Lewis Sylvester? De definitely, I think this is his coming out parade. It's, it's a respected title, it's a respected fighter who's coming in undefeated himself from a boxing family, he's Northern Area champion, he, he's, he's got a winning mentality, he's coming here thinking he's winning, it's, it, it's going to make for a great fight. Lewis can fight on the front foot, on the back foot, uh, Adam's hands up, elbows in, keeps things basic and but comes all night and it'll, it'll gel for a fantastic fight and I predict Lewis uh, winning in good style. Yeah, Mac, Max has got himself a big fight and he's uh, going out to America in the next few weeks. Talk to me about that fight with George Cambosos because he's had some big results. Um, Max is going over there, he's going to go in the underdog but that's a position yeah, Max has always been the underdog. I don't think he's been in a fight as of late as the favourite regarding the Ryan Walsh fight. I think Max has been the underdog for the last few years. He strives on it. He's got the personality to take it all in his stride. He's gone out there and got this opportunity himself. It's what he wanted. He's got what he wanted. And he's going to be prepared to grab it with both hands. Uh, you know, if anybody can do it, it's the Max he used. Going over to America as well. That the challenges that, that he'll take on board. Do you think they'll take them in his stride as well? Yeah, I mean, Max is a very laid-back fighter. He's very good at what he does. Uh, I think Cambosis, his style will suit Maxi. He'll try, try, come and come, and Maxi will be very patient. And I would imagine he'll, he'll sit on the back foot and let it all happen. Uh, we all know it's going to be hard work going over to America. It's something he's never done before, but something he's very excited about. I'd like to get the thoughts on Terry Harper as well. Where are we with news regarding Terry? Uh, Terry's currently on, on holiday eating cake, I think. So, yeah, she's, she's enjoying a bit of downtown. Uh, hopefully, I'll get some news this week, but hopefully we reschedule in the Brackhurst fight. And looking forward to that. When would you expect that to be? Would that be sort of October, November yeah, time? He'll, he'll, be, he'll be back and he'll be after the summer. She deserves a these dates kept going on and on so I wanted to have a break she's still only 26 but I would imagine October time Terry will be back Talk about being 26 she's achieved so much in the early stages of her career sometimes do you need that mental break as well yeah definitely I mean obviously she had a long break with the hand breakage uh, so it, it's, she don't need a rest uh, physically or she's worn out she just needs a rest from training camp with, she'd been training since before Christmas and she's put a lot of effort into it. She didn't fight until May, and it had been weeks, weeks, turned into months, months. She's just ready for a, for a physical rest, let her body recover, and we'll go again. She's long been linked with Natasha Jonas, and Jonas obviously fights this weekend up in Manchester against Candy White. I'd like to get your thoughts on that fight and whether you think Tasha will come through. I have no thoughts on that fight. I mean, it, it is, it's another it's a routine win for a vacant title, isn't it? So, I mean, good luck to Natasha. Hopefully she becomes a two-weight world champion and wish her well. Do you think that fight with Natasha Jonas and Terry Harper will ever happen? Do you think no. it's... No, no, no. No, it, it is what it is, isn't it? It's pointless talking about that one all the time, isn't it? It's long gone and people like to ask questions all the time, but it is gone. Final one I'd like to get your thoughts on is Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson. It's made an absolutely fantastic fight. But possibilities there for Max Stevenson on that one all day. I think 
Shakur Stevenson will take some beating. He's probably arguably the best fighter on the planet at the minute, isn't he? He looks great. He looks a great prospect. I, I think he'll take some beating. Cheers for your time, Steffi, and best of luck at the weekend. Cheers, thank you.